Don't you cut timber on a windy day. Stay out of the woods. You better listen what I say. Axe friends, so many questions to answer. So many questions to answer. So much potential research with the axes. I am very humbled, and it's time to do a giveaway. It's time to give something back. We crossed a thousand subscribers, which is makes no sense. Like. Very encouraging to see that many axe scientists in the world. Very encouraging to see people interested in this very important research. Very important research, right? It is a little shocking. It is a little shocking to break a thousand. It really is. You know, I'm not smashing bread face person, right? I don't have that kind of talent. I just don't have that kind of talent. I can't review video games. Really? I can't review getting video games. There's too many buttons on the consoles now. So many buttons. So it just seems logical to be doomed to low subscription rates, but thousands awesome. So let's do a giveaway, pure giveaway. Right? I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. It's time to give something back to you guys, the X viewers. Right? Right? Okay, so three prizes we're going to give away. Three prizes, right? The first is a complete axe, right? A three and a half pound Wiebelhaus, right? German made, vintage, restored by myself. So this is a pretty nice felling axe to put up as a prize. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Three and a half pound Yankee or Dayton pattern. Made by the German company Weibelhaus, Weibelhaus, okay, which was a family owned business located near the Wuppertal region, of which we've had videos about the fine German ironmongery that originated there, right, in Wuppertal, okay. This is one of those companies, made it all the way to 1986, and it punched out then. All kinds of patterns, exported quite a bit. You can find them all around with different markings, all kinds of markings. Weibelhaus never made the same axe twice. I'm convinced of it. Never made the same axe twice. So many interesting finish, finishes and configurations with this. Nice satin finish, very nice convex edge, very sharp, very sharp, ready to go. Pretty nice haft here too, pretty good, right? Vintage, 30 inches. Okay, so we got some good geometries here. So very, very high performer and a great addition to your wood pile. Prize number one. More people need to be exposed to the glories and agonies of the double bit swamper pattern, right? Double bit swamper pattern, nothing quite like it. Look at that. Probably make a great thrower when I think about it. But, you know, we've had a few. We've put them in the axe arenas, all right? An interesting chopper, an interesting chopper, okay? I'd recommend with these a shorter handle as well, 30 to 32 inches, all right? Seems like that's gonna be most right for it. But we need to put some more swampers out into circulation. So here's a beautiful, no name, three and a half pound swamper, all kinds of bit left, great geometry. Should be a fun, fun axe to fix up, right? Prize number two. Our third prize is pretty sexy, pretty sexy, a little different. It just seems a shame for this to just go on my shelf, all right? I like to put this back into circulation as well. We got a sweet Helco Work claw hammer, right? On the little Holtzbrook hatchet handle. Nice, painted it up, very sexy, very glam, but you know, what am I gonna do with a Helco claw hammer? What am I gonna do? So this is the essay contest. We have an essay contest, right? So for this one, we're gonna do an essay contest. This is not really an essay contest. It's not really an essay contest. Convince me that you would actually use this in your job, right? Is a claw hammer still a tool for anybody? Roofers, tree men, I don't know. Where do the claw hammers go? You don't see a lot of them anymore, so it might've just been phased out as a useful thing. But if you could convince me that you could use this, you know, on a daily basis in your professional job. You, luxury for the working man, right there. Luxury for the working man. It's probably a two pound head, but I put it on um, a stock Holtzbrook hatchet handle. It was a regular Holtzbrook hatchet handle. Had to do some fancy, fancy wedge work to get it to work, right? The eyes are not the same shape, but it should be okay. It should be okay. We got a lot of wood in there. A lot of pressure wood in there. I actually was really pleased by how much wedge all right, on all these angles and places I could get down in there. That's pretty snug, it's pretty snug. Thinned out the grip just a little bit. That really does feel good. That feels pretty good. That's pretty good swinging hatchet, all right? So if you want the German Swedish Alliance claw hammer here, okay, contact me, contact me on my Instagram account. All right, I have an Instagram account. Just go up to the banner on my page, on my channel homepage, right? You go up to the banner and hit Hit the little Instagram guy. If you don't have an account, man, sign up for an account, you know, and follow us on Instagram. There's all kinds of axe pictures out there. Very active axe community on Instagram. It's worth it, set up an account just for that. But you can DM me. You can find Bushcraft Sisyphus out on, on Instagram. DM me through Instagram and just tell me, convince me that you could use this 
in your work, and man, this could be yours, right? Free, I'll even make a little sheath for it. I will, I'll make a little sheath for it just for you. Now to win one of these, all you have to do is be a subscriber to the channel and comment below, comment below one of two things. Something you really liked about the videos, like your favorite video or, you know, whatever your favorite episode was of something, or what you'd like to see. Maybe some act science topics that you'd like to see, right? So what you like or what you'd like to see, just comment below. This contest will end midnight, Friday, July the 19th. Short window, short window. Big advantage to you, uh, you, you consistent viewers, right? You guys who got me on alert, right? You're getting in, you're getting in early. Early birds get the first ax, right? So these guys sleeping and come in two weeks later and they're not getting, man, no chance. Yes, Friday, July 19th, midnight, Mountain Standard Time in the United States, right? We'll cut off the answers, I'll take them all in, randomly generate uh, the winners of these two axes, and shipping's on me, shipping's on me, all right? So once again, Axe Friends, thank you, thank you very much. I'm honored to have your attention. I hope you've learned something. Always trying to learn new things here, and I really appreciate everyone's input and support. So we'll see you next time.